Well, I can't say that couples counseling is my favorite tonight of the week, but I think it went well. What do you say? Yeah, I think tonight was constructive. I mean, there wasn't one single bash Patrick on it. <laughs> like the counselor said, it's about me rebuilding my credibility so you can trust me again. It's not bashing. Are you sure that you're okay with therapy? I mean, there isn't a part of you that is going to resent me for it in the future. Robin, I am so happy and grateful that we are finally moving on from the disaster that is Lisa. You busy? Hey, what are you doing here? Therapy? Um, it's about the herbal supplements that I've been taking. Uh, I looked them up online and they're nothing like the ones that you've been giving me. I don't know how... Anyway, thanks for letting me, you know... Ramble on about Jake. I've been uh, been thinking about him a lot. Yeah, no one knows what to say. You know, some people offer endless condolences. Others try to avoid it altogether because I don't know. They think it'll just remind you of your devastation or something. As if you need reminding. Exactly. I, mean, I think about him all the time, and I I, I like talking about him. You know, I mean, I, I like it. When other people talk about him because it makes me feel like he won't be forgotten. Yeah, when you, um, when you tell me about him, I feel like I get to know him a little better. Sorry, man, I'm sorry you only got this. No, it was my choice, times. it was my choice. Like I said already, you were a good father to him. Did the best I could, you know. I guess that's any, that's all any father can, can do. Jason, I need to, I need to ask you a favor, okay? About my dad. Dr. Quartermain, Dr. If he tries to get you to come after him, don't do it. I used to make cookies every week, and last week I forgot, and I'm trying to get back in the routine of things for the sake of the boys, well, but you... didn't you just tell Lucky? The herbal supplements that you gave me have been working really well. Oh. Uh, you've calmed me down and kept me from obsessing about being waitlisted. Oh, well, I am so glad to hear that. I didn't want to bother you for more, so I went online. Mm-hmm. But... The capsules that they show don't look anything like the ones that I've been taking. Oh, well, that's because the pills I gave you are the highest quality herbal extracts. And I get them from a wholesale retailer who exclusively works with physicians. And I, I didn't want to give them to you in a baggie. Make it look like a drug deal, so I end up putting it in a bottle. Thanks. Yeah. I just don't want to take advantage. Oh, no, no, no. It's no problem. I get them ridiculously cheap. I'm happy to give you refills. So, it's just a blend of different herbs? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's St. John's wort, ginseng, and it's about a dozen others. You know, how about this? How about if I just write it out for you, and then you can go to a health food store, and you can pick it up on your own if that'll make you feel more comfortable. It's completely up to you. Mm hmm Thanks. But it might just be easier just getting them from you, if you honestly not mind me imposing. Hey. I have been in your shoes, so I am happy to do a favor for a fellow waitlister. When do you think we're going to finish this thing? June? July? Don't be so negative. Memorial Day latest. <laughs> do you think we're overcompensating because of our marital issues? <laughs> well, we are spoiling our daughter with gifts and presents, but I would say she deserves it. Oh, yeah? Like when we agreed to cut back on sugar and then she asked for ice cream and you handed her Robin, a bowl Robin, you are full? a doctor. Ice cream is loaded with calcium. Don't even start, okay? I know you. You are a pushover when it comes to our daughter. Okay, directions. We gotta get this thing assembled. Yeah, I'm trying. So, okay. For inserting safety grip screw, screw into slot B, you should. Now, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. How does that make sense? Um, I think this one is, yeah, B. Slot B. Ta-da! Wow, that's amazing. Our daughter will not be denied. <laughs> this is fun but only because I'm doing it with you. 
I have to admit, I bought Emma the cozy cottage when we were separated. That big thing she saw on TV? Mm -hmm. Where is it? In the garage, still in pieces. <laughs> it was just one more indication of how much I need you and how much smoother things go when you're around. <laughs> I've put you in a terrible position, and I'm sorry. No, there, there's, there's no need to apologize. And it must be so difficult. I, I'm honestly... I, I, I'm not I'm not judging you, which makes it all the more embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Well, you're being so nice about this. I mean, I, you're coming to me to apologize for interrupting when I was with Lucky. I'm the one who interrupted you on your wedding night. Uh, yeah, bad timing all around. You have every right to be angry with me after I accused you of taking advantage of Lucky. I, I just I couldn't accept that he really cared about you. Until I heard his vows. And I want you to know that I support your marriage. It just took me a minute to get used to it. Of course. I mean, you and, and Lucky, you share so much. I, uh, I need to get going. Hope the boys enjoy their cookies. Dad is an alcoholic. Everyone in my family has had to come to terms with that hard reality. I arranged for an intervention, got everyone on board, even, even Sonny and Carly. Came. I'm amazed he even sat down and agreed to listen. He didn't. Ethan drugged him and then we duct taped him to a chair, basically forced Dad to listen as we all read from letters that we had written, told him how his drinking has affected us. But nothing's changed. No, nothing has changed. He's still drinking, even mm -hmm. though we told him it was a deal breaker and then we'd cut him off. You know what, Lucky, I'm sorry, but, but none of this is really my problem. It's true that Dad won't admit that he was driving drunk, but he's drowning in guilt over killing Jake. He wants to die, and you're the perfect solution, man. I mean, he, he already tried goading you once. He's going to do it again. The only difference this time is he's going to raise the stakes. Now, I'm asking you. Don't engage. Just, just walk away. I can only be pushed so far. You know, when he uh, came over to your apartment and mouthed off to Sam about how you don't have a right to grieve for Jake and all that crap, the whole point was to make you blind with rage so that you'd walk into the haunted star see him with a gun and shoot without ever realizing that the gun wasn't loaded. This has got to be tearing you apart. No, my point is, the gun is never going to be loaded, Jason. My dad is not a threat to you. He's sick. Alcoholism is not a bad habit. It's a progressive if disease. If he had been sober, he might have seen Jake. We're never going to know. Luke doesn't even hold himself accountable for driving drunk, Lucky. Do you really feel that way? Why haven't you just killed him already, huh? I mean, it's not like he hasn't been begging you to do it, and we both know you can yeah, get trust away. Trust me, I'd like to. Michael's trying to follow in my footsteps Dr. right now. Grossbart, Dr. Megan Grossbart, to pathology. Much as I'd like to, I'm not going to teach him that revenge is okay at any cost. Despite what you think, my father is not past redemption. I'm just sorry you're in the middle of all this. I'm doing everything I can. Everything yeah. I can. We all are. We're, we're, we're trying to convince him that he needs to get help. Yeah. And we need more time. That's all I'm asking. Look, I'm is focusing on Michael right now, okay? His girlfriend's facing murder charges. I got my hands full. You know about your legal situation. Diane Miller is representing me. She's looking into a few options for my defense. If you didn't kill Brandon, wouldn't the first logical defense be to plead innocent? I probably will. She's just covering all the bases. Oh, I'm sorry. For what? You've just been put in a lot of bad situations the last several months, and all roads lead back to Michael. If you're trying to turn me against Michael, you don't want to go there. I would have no reason to do that. I think your father would disagree. Okay. Again, I'm not working with my father. 
I just find the two situations very similar. We were raised by similar families. It's like looking in a mirror sometimes. Michael loves his father. You hate yours, or so you claim. We were both raised by two very powerful and protective families. Michael so much as sprouts a hangnail, Sonny and Jason are weighing in. Not to mention Carly and his brother, Dante. Okay, so, so what's your point? My point is that it's probably very easy for you to get lost in the shuffle. Well, not so far. Okay, you may be right. But if they feel Michael's safety is threatened, you're expendable. Let me guess. Michael's mother and father have already talked to you about how you're not good for him, right? Stay away from him for his own good, am I right? What are you getting at? I could arrange for you to disappear. I have connections in Vegas. It wouldn't be very difficult for me to get you a new identity, maybe a job at a club that I have a stake in. You could start fresh, cut your losses. What's in it for you?